I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today, we're reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 39. Let's focus on verses 12 and 13. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner, as all my fathers were. Remove your gaze from me, that I may regain strength before I go away and am no more. Now, we have all, no doubt, seen movies where a military leader is inspecting his troops. You know, I think about those long military parades that are common in those communist countries where miles of soldiers march and a nation's power is on display to encourage its citizens and to intimidate its enemies. But then there's also the more personal inspection of a drill sergeant with his boot camp recruits. Far from a long-distance display of polished metals and military hardware, the drill sergeant looks for the slightest imperfection. His goal is to teach the entire unit how the carelessness of a single soldier can affect all of them. No boot camp soldier wants the drill instructor to stop abruptly and turn on a dime and stare him up and down. And that is the picture that David paints of the gaze of God. David has messed up. He is not squared away, good to go, as they say in the military. He had promised to guard my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. But then David was unguarded and goofing off. He said, while I was musing, just goofing off, the fire burned, and then I spoke with my tongue. David shot his mouth off in a way that not only invited the rebuke of God, but it also demanded it. Yes, God is loving and gracious, and He is kind, but He's also just and righteous, and He demands that His followers have discipline, that they discipline themselves. It is not just an Old Testament idea. Jesus calls us all to be disciples. And a disciple is a person who disciplines themselves to follow the Lord. Becoming disciplined through the Word of God, taught by the Holy Spirit, learning to say no to the flesh and yes to God. You may wonder what the big deal is, right? We live in a generation that shoots its mouth off on social media 24-7. But remember, the gaze of God is more than just a glance, more than just an awareness. When God gazes at his people, he is scanning your whole being, soul and all. And he's looking with much more detail than that TSA agent gazes at the x-ray screen as airplane passengers are passing through, uh, you know, the security. By no means do you want to glare back at God as if you could find fault with his judgment or call his character into account. Psalm 33, verses 18 through 23, And he, speaking of Moses, said, Please show me your glory. And God said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, You cannot see my face, for no man shall see me and live. And the Lord said, Here is a, is a place by me, and you shall stand on the rock, and it shall be while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock. I will cover you with my hand while I pass by, and then I will take away my hand so that you can see my back, but my face shall not be seen. David knew that he was guilty and that God had no problem identifying David's pride as the source of his sin. But David knew, as we know, while God is a righteous judge, he's also gracious and merciful. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And your giving to Groundworks Ministries 
transforms lives. Would you consider making a donation to Groundworks Ministries today? Because we need your monthly support now more than ever. Donating is secure and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com. Ministries.com.